Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio. And today we're going to cover the last property that appears in the Attributes Inspector when you drag a control on the view controller. Now notice this property only shows up when you drag a control on here. So here you see this installed property and that's the one we're going to be talking about. And if I delete, if if I just click on the view, you notice this property doesn't, doesn't show up. That's because the installed property controls which controls are installed with your application depending on the device, depending on the size control. And I'll show you what I mean. So say for example you have a background image. You might have a smaller resolution image for your iPhone. Let's just get this on here. You might have a smaller resolution image for the iPhone and a large resolution image for your iPad. Well there's no sense in downloading and installing the larger resolution image on your iPhone if you're never going to use it. So that's where you can use the installed property. Now for this image, I already have a couple of images in my assets catalog. I have a larger image and a small image. So for your iPhones, we're just going to use a small image. And I'm going to click on this plus. And right now, the regular width and compact height, this is for iPhones. So we're going to add that variation and I only want this installed for regular width and compact height which is the iPhone. So if we go to and so notice uh, this image right here if we go to an iPad the image is no longer there because we told it we didn't want it installed on the iPad. So what we're going to do is, is add another image here and instead we're going to use the larger image and for this, we only want this installed for regular, regular height and width. And the regular, regular is the iPad. So I'm going to uncheck this. So now, when you install an app, this same app, when you install this app on an iPad, it's going to use this larger image, this larger resolution image. But when you install the app, the same app, on an iPhone, it's going to use the smaller resolution image instead. That way the download size will be much smaller for the user and it'll be much faster to download too. So that's what the installed property does. It can control which controls on your UI can be downloaded or which resources can be downloaded depending on the device. And that's pretty much it. You just use size classes to control which resources get downloaded from the app store when the person installs it on their device. So that's pretty much all I have for the installed property. And that concludes the last property under View, under the Attributes Inspector. I hope you enjoyed this series, and I hope you learned a lot from it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. Thank you.